Good morning from Manila. Uh, my name is Mariana, and I am so happy to be supporting John and the Yugo board. From that first call I had with John, that fateful May, I think it was, morning in 2022, I was really energized about the possibilities that Yugo could bring forward for ensuring equality of opportunity and education in emerging markets, most especially for my home in the Philippines and Filipino women. It's interesting because the role of, of Philippine society has always been contradictory. Many point to you know, the strong examples of women leadership that we've had in the country, such as two women presidents. Um, we do have a number of chairwomen of, of public institutions, heads of household, um, but we also lack representation in certain verticals, such as in mid-management, as well as boards of private institutions. And I really do feel that by educating young women and ensuring this equality of opportunity, we'll be able to lift families, communities, and more broadly, the economy. The issue of education equality for women, for me, is as much about empowering women as it is about building the most capable economy possible for the Philippines to ensure our collective progress as a nation. Last year, the Philippines became the seventh country um, for Yugo. And today, we are so proud to say that we have since welcomed 120 scholars to the Yugo Philippines family. We were so fortunate to enjoy the support of the annual Philippine Tatler Ball, which helped us raise over 40 million pesos or just over 700,000 US dollars for our scholarship fund. And this gave us a major leap forward for making Yugo a reality for Filipina women. On behalf of the Ayala Foundation, um, I just wanted to say that we're really thrilled to serve as the operating partner for Yugo in the Philippines. Ayala Foundation was founded in 1961 as the social development arm of the Ayala Group of Companies, a conglomerate here in the Philippines. Ayala Foundation envisions communities where people are productive, creative, self-reliant, and proud to be Filipino. And with that, I'm sure you can all imagine how perfectly aligned we feel with Yugo. It's really a match made in heaven, if you ask me. I thank John for the opportunity to allow us to support his dreams in making a difference in many women's lives and Filipina women specifically. We hope to get that count of 120 up to 1,000 and beyond very soon. Thank you as well to Mark and Tom for all the help they extended to us as we evaluated partners and determined a path forward to make you go Philippines a reality. I feel very privileged to be able to work with you all and also for the support of the Ayala Foundation team, Joanna and Kate, as we as we trudge forward to enable Filipino women towards a college education. Congrats again and happy anniversary to you, Go. Good morning to all those present today. Today is truly an occasion worth celebrating. I would like to begin by congratulating Mr. John Wood and his team for all their hard work and ambitions, which is the reason we are all gathered here today. My name is Joanna Duarte, and I'm the Senior Director for Social Development at Ayala Foundation. Founded in 1961, Ayala Foundation is the social development arm of the Ayala Group of Companies here in the Philippines. And our vision for the country is to develop and nurture communities where people are creative, productive, self-reliant, and proud to be Filipino. So when Hugo reached out to us last year, we could not be more enthusiastic about this incredibly fitting partnership. We saw an alignment in the vision and goals of both Yugo and Ayala Foundation. As Yugo's operating arm in the Philippines, we are guided by Yugo's principles to encourage young women from low-income households to pursue education and build careers capable of uplifting entire communities. And after just a few months, the partnership between Ayala Foundation and Yugo has already been fruitful. I see our success reflected in the eyes of our 120 scholars who were chosen from a pool of 3,000 applicants in a period of three months. The implementation of the application and screening of all these scholars was, of course, an arduous process, but nothing worth doing is ever easy. And as we watch these young women continue to pursue their dreams, through education free from financial burden that used to worry them, we have never been more certain that the most difficult work is also the most rewarding. Thank you to Yugo and all the partners for your incredible efforts across the world. And 
we celebrate today all that has been accomplished in the past year. Let us also not lose sight of what is to come. There is more work to be done, and I, for one, cannot be more excited. Congratulations, Hugo, and thank you for having Ayala Foundation as part of it. Hello, I'm Christine Anamora, and I am 19 years old. I am the eldest of our two siblings. The one after me is in senior high school, and the youngest is in elementary school. We grew up in a place where education is not given importance or value. But my belief is contrary, and I don't agree with what people around me say, that you are born poor and you will remain poor. As a daughter of a single parent and an ice cream vendor, I believe that education is the only way to get out of poverty. I believe that education will be the bridge from poverty to a better future. It is true that the life of a person who are born poor is difficult, but even though we were deprived of a more comfortable life, God gave me and my family a hope, a determination, hard work, and dreams. All of that is what drives and strengthens me to continue going forward in life. It started in 2017 when my mother passed away due to a serious illness. Everything is so difficult for us and I'm thinking about how I am and my dreams in life. I was afraid that all my dreams might not come true. At that time, the test that was given to us became more intense, but this is also the reason that we are strong today. I learned that not everything ends because of a painful event, but everyone has their own reason and no matter what it is, I believe that God has a good plan for each and every one of us. Currently, I'm a first year college student. The course I'm pursuing is business administration, major in human resource management. I am studying at one of the public universities known for its excellent reputation in education and globally competitive students. It is the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. I am very happy now because I am finally a Hugo Scholar because I could not believe that a girl from the poorest place could go to college and this is also because of my value in education and my desire to have a better future. This scholarship is very helpful for me to continue and finish my studies. Because of the support of the scholarship, I have already bought my school supplies that I will need for the face-to-face -face classes that I am preparing for this coming March. I also don't have to worry about my daily allowance or pocket money because with the help of Hugo, it was met. Eternal gratitude to Hugo and Ayala Foundation because you saw us. We who are often not given the opportunity. Thank you very much because you serve as a bridge and hope so that students like me can continue their dreams and pass on goodness and charity to others. May you help many students in need and may the Lord continue to bless you. 